Hi everybody, this is Joe. I'm here to do a video on narcissistic personality disorder. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about what causes you to be drained of your strength and your energy with a narcissist. And in this video will help you understand on why after you been contending and been dealing with your narcissist or the narcissist that you have been dealing with why you feel so drained even to come to a physical point to where you feel drowsy and even tired and what happened is this whenever you around a narcissist or so and you put your best foot out or you know you give them you give them your all or so, you give them good advice, you put a lot of energy into this person. Everything with a narcissist is short lived. You have noticed that. So like you're having a conversation with a narcissist and you get your point across, you know, your point right there just it'll last with them maybe a few minutes, maybe a few hours, maybe a couple of days, maybe a week or so and right after that the narcissists be back to who they were again or they or you'll notice that you're you're being back into that same situation that you explain yourself, you know, that you explain your way out of or so. And what happens all over again, they take you through that same process all over again as if the first process never even took place. So you'll start to notice yourself doing the same cycle all over again. And they take you through the same process again, you know, sapping you of your strength, sapping you of your energy or so. And you have notice that every time you in a fight with a narcissist, you argue or so, or y'all having a dispute at something, it's very hard for you to get your point across to this person. It's like as if it goes into one ear and goes out the other. And they turn around arguing at you about their point as if you never try to express anything across to them or so. Which leaving you out of all your strength. So this is one of the things that caused you to be in your situation of you just feeling like you have nothing left in you to go on to even have any more fight in you to even put up a battle with this person or so because everything you said and everything you've done didn't get you anywhere. And I'll tell you why is this on a narcissist's behalf. It's because with a narcissist, it's as if it's like a hole in the bottom of a cup. Anything you fill up with this narcissist, it never holds anything. It always falls through the bottom. They don't last with them. A narcissist really, in their minds, can't come to a conclusion or anything. They are naturally stirred up in confusion, naturally. They naturally just stir up confusion. They never really understand to come to the truth or anything. They only come to their own truth. They only come to their own reality. No matter how much you explain to the narcissist, or no matter how much you show the narcissist, they only come to their own truth and their own reality. And a narcissist, in their mind, they, they are really stuck on this. You know, sometimes a narcissist will come off to you that they're very delusional, and they're very fixated in their ways or so. So no matter how much you explain to the narcissist, or no matter how much you try to get your point across, or how much you try to see, sorry about that, how much you try to get the narcissist to see your point of view, they never do. They never come to that point to see your side of the story or see how you understand, how you understand things or whatever from your perspective. A narcissist does not think like that. They don't think the way you think. So... It's like this thing where y'all going back and forth, back and forth or so, and they stir you up in that confusion 
making you feel like you crazy right along with them. And what happens is that when you notice you're around people or so, it makes it hard for you to stand out in this confusion because they stir up so much confusion and pull you into the confusion by you trying to express yourself, which is a lot of draining of energy by itself. So to anyone on the outside, you just look like y'all two just in a lot of confusion. And you try to get the people on the outside to understand your point of view on top of what the narcissist already has stirred up. It's like you're going behind this person, fixing everything and fixing all the flaws that they put out there or so, which just drain you of your energy. You really come to no conclusion as far as trying to get to some type of destination with this person right along with you or so. You never come to this conclusion. The narcissist seems to always jump back into that that world of confusion. They always seem to jump back into their little belief system that they have towards reality, towards life or so. And you clearly see what the problem is. But by you explaining to the narcissist or try to help the narcissist at this, there is nothing but just drive your mind wild or so because the things they throw out at you and all the subjects they just change it on you is as if that you ask them a question and they seem to never answer that one question. They dance around that question. It's like you try to get them to answer that one question. They never do. They talk in circles, talk in circles, and talk in circles. They talk around the point you try to make across to them. These are some of the tactics that they that they do to you to just keep you into all this stuff that don't even make any sense or don't have anything to do with what you're talking about or what you're trying to show them. And after all the energy and after all the discussions you had with this person, at the end of it all, in a matter of days, hours or so, depending on what type of narcissist you deal with and the state of mind they are in, they come to the same conclusion that had brought y'all into the argument or had brought y'all into the situation in the first place as if they never even heard anything you had said or they never even thought about anything you said or so, as if they come up to you that, they have this, this lack of comprehension or so. So this is the ways where you feel drained of your energy and you feel drained of your strength when you have, any, you have nothing left in you to go on with this person. And they just stand before you after you just, this empty shell from being drained, and they just stand before you as if you not even did anything as far as you did your part with them or so. You know, and it could get it could get very frustrating dealing with this. It could get very frustrating dealing with this. To a point where you wanna pull your hairs out your scalp or so. So these are the ways that drain you of your strength, drain you of your energy. And this will help you if you're dealing with these type of people, if you are in this situation with these type of people, this will more help you on how to just maintain yourself when you're dealing with these people. One of them, what you can do is really just get away from these people. Sometimes that's not easy because what happened is that they, they have this tendency to catch you in this spider web. It's like dealing with them is almost like a soap opera show or so. They keep you under this suspense where it's hard to just walk away without clearing the smoke in the air or so. You know, they, they that's the tactic. That's the purpose of this and what it does to you or so. So this is what makes it hard to just walk away because you, in your mind, feeling that you don't want to leave the situation the way it is, and the more you come to this person trying to clear everything on the understanding, 
the more it is that they come off to you that they is not comprehending what you're saying and they keep going over the same act, the same act that was frustrated you or the same act that will put you in your situation that you try to get out of or so. So what happened is that this narcissist sit up and just project a lot of this confusion off on you or so. So really to get yourself out of this situation is to come to a reality of understanding of these people, you know, that some of these people you can never work with. Some of these people are stuck in their ways. They don't they don't want to take in good advice, you know, positive advice as far as to really help them because they don't want to. They don't want to cooperate. These people really want to do what they want to do. They really want to hear what they want to hear. And there's a lot of things that you want them to hear or pay attention to that they really do not care to hear or pay attention to. And that's how these people are really set up in their minds. It's almost, you know, you you beating a dead horse. You talking to a wall or so dealing with these people. So don't allow these people to stir you up in their confusion. Do not get caught in that web of confusion with these people. You understand where you're coming from. You are already aware of what had happened, and you already know what you are talking about. Try to express this to these people. All they're going to do is run away from the responsibility of their own actions. So they'll just put everything out there to make you feel like it's your fault or dance around the situation or dance around on what you are trying to express to them. So by you just dancing with this person will do, any, will do nothing but just take you up out your strength. So as long as you know your situation, as long as you know yourself, you know, it's really a waste of time trying to get this person to see. And the thing about it, too, is that you don't have no witnesses around to see it on your side. And the narcissists always do this gaslighting thing towards you and always do the flying monkeys with everybody else. And to everybody else, they will make sense. But to you, they won't make sense to you. But they will make sense to everybody else so everybody else can understand the narcissist, which try to make you look like you're crazy or so, or to make you look like you're the odd guy in the situation, you the odd person or so. That's how these people operate. So always go with your perception. Don't doubt your perception. And I know you probably hear that a whole lot, and it's hard to do that when you're around these people. It's because you ain't getting no confirmation. They're not backing you up. They don't make you feel what you are feeling you are right. They go against that with a firm mind, and they bring flying monkeys against your perception. That's what makes it hard for you to stay with your perception. So hopefully this video helps someone out. Thanks for watching this video. Stay in there. Be good to yourself and have a good one.